Welcome to our lecture online and now to show you the difference between seating around a round table and seating at a rectangular table does make a difference and this is an example to show you the difference. So here you can see a rectangular table, there's six people sitting at the table and for part A the number of permutations are going to be determined by seeing how there's no restrictions at all and for part B there is a restriction where two of the six people cannot sit together. So the idea there is that the two that, uh, oh, we'll get to that in just a moment of how to do that. Okay, so part A, very straightforward. For a round table, the number of permutations was n minus 1. For a rectangular table, where the first person sitting down does make a difference where that person sits, you can then say that the number of permutations for six people is equal to n factorial. So in this case, oh, again, I got ahead of myself. I wanted to show you the general formula. So for n people, it's n factorial, so the permutations for six people is six factorial, which is equal to 720 ways in which six people can sit at a table like that. That's an amazing number, but again, there's a lot of different ways in which they can be arranged. But what if there's a restriction where two cannot sit next to each other? Well, to find that, for part B, the number of permutations for n people with two cannot sit next to each other. So with two cannot sit next to each other. That would be equal to, well, it would be the number of permutations where you have n. So you take the account that, that um, you find the solution which you find in part a. So the number of permutations with n people sitting at the table minus the number of permutations where two must sit next to each other. So the reason why I drew the board like this is because the way we're going to find this is by using this concept right here. So again, I got a little ahead of myself, but bear with me. So here we're going to find the number of permutations where two people are not allowed to sit next to each other. So this is equal to, that would be n factorial minus, now since two people must sit next to each other, that means they form now a unit of one equivalent person, but then you have the option to switch those people around. So this would be equal to n minus one factorial because two people becomes one, but then we have to multiply that times two factorial because the, that one so-called one person could still be switched around with uh, the other person like that. So this uh, one person can then just be switched around like that. And then you have, of course, two possibilities of setting that up. The answer then for P when there's six people is equal to six factorial minus uh, six minus one factorial times 2 factorial. So in this case, that would be 720 minus 120 times 2, because 5 factorial is 120 times 2, so that would be equal to 720 minus 240, and that would be equal to 480 different ways. So if there's no restrictions, you can have 720 different permutations, but with the restriction that two people cannot sit next to each other, there's only 480 ways in which you can Sit, to sit those people at a rectangular table. And that's how we do that.